This is the script for a movie. It tells a story in words. It's the director's job to take these words and make them come alive on the screen. How dare you say that to me, a mother with kids. You can't make a fool out of me, I don't... If there's dialogue, read it aloud. You just get here and what do you do? You make me come up to your room. You, you don't have to be an actor to tell whether or not it sounds real, like real people talking. Go back downstairs, please. There may be some mail. What do you want with a vase, anyhow? What do you want a vase for, anyhow? What do you want a vase for, anyhow? If it doesn't sound real, change it. What do you want a vase for... What do you want a vase for, anyhow? Yeah, that's better. A mother with kids. You can't push me around. I'll go see the cop. This room looks too clean. Wish there was wallpaper. The ceiling isn't high enough. If you're shooting on location, check the locations out yourself. Is the look right? Can you get the camera angles you want? Is there too much noise to record sound? Okay, Izzy, what do you think? I can make do with the windows and doors. Take your cameraman along if you can and get his opinions. You have to leave me at least one or two walls for equipment. And leave you a very limited amount of equipment. have space. And I guess we're better off in the stage in the same. Much. If you're going to shoot on a set, make the first sketches of it yourself. It doesn't matter how rough they are, but it's up to you to decide where the walls need to be and the doors and the windows. I have to see both of the doors in a wide shot. I better angle the walls some way. Then make certain that your set designer is giving you what you've asked for and what you need. The other thing is the doors. I know I told you in my sketches I always had them opening out of the room like that. I need to have men. I want this effect of the furniture coming through and uh, pushing the doors open. That won't create any problems of furniture on the interior? Uh, yeah, it will, but uh, there's going to be problems on either side. It's going to be, we're going to be tight for space either way. And I think the effect of the doors bursting open is something that I need. Yeah. So is that a problem for you? No, not at all. Scene one is a sound shot and a wide shot. Scene two is shut through the window, sound, and a close-up of the super. Break down the script. Group similar shots together. Those shot in the same set or location, shots with the same actors, shots using the same props or special equipment. The shots should be grouped together in the way that makes the shooting easiest, fastest, and most economical. <coughs> Sorry, it's a hiccup. Be as demanding as possible in the casting of your actors. Insist that each actor you're seriously considering read for you. Somebody was down in the back. I've got to go see Mr. Clarence. Don't kid yourself. Forget about makeup and costumes and the difficulty of cold readings. If you don't see and hear in the actor at least the beginnings of the character you have in mind, it's very unlikely you'll get what you want from him on the screen. And finally, before you cast an actor, find out how he takes your direction. What kind of furniture is it? Okay, Paul, I wonder if you could do that with more of the sense of, con a little sense of nervous concern. Like, everything has been fine. All the furniture has gotten into place. Everything's working to plan. But now they're saying that there's a problem. Make sure that you're able to communicate with him that he understands what you're saying. What are we going to do? Is there very much left? You're not finished, are you? Yeah, but see if you can do it without... You don't need the voice. It's just right. a okay. sense of nervousness. Internal. What are we going to do? Is there very much left? You're not finished, are you? Can you do the OKs without any break at all? You're breaking after the first one. Just boom, 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 boom. OK, 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 yeah. OK! That's it. That's it. Camera's in front for a wide shot. The super comes in the door to the center of the room and then to the window. Block the action on paper. Where will your actors be? How will they move? Where will your camera be? When will the camera move? 
Make diagrams on your shooting script. We cut to a shot through the window. A close up of the super leaning out. Always block the show and select your shots with the audience in mind. What does the audience most need to see at each moment of the story? That's what should be on the screen. The man and the super are at the door in a two shot. The man crosses and the camera pans with him. And the super crosses over into the shot. Make shot lists for each day's shooting. Block your shots together so that you minimize the number of major changes of camera position and major lighting changes. Be realistic. Don't schedule more than you can shoot in a day. There's nothing worse on a set for you and your crew and your cast than the feeling that you're constantly falling behind schedule. Schedule realistically and then feel good if you go faster than expected. He's sorry, he's sorry, he's sorry. He's making fun of me. That's what he's doing. I don't like that. People making fun of me, they're all the same. Recheck your blocking on the set or location before your cast and crew arrive. It's easier to think things out when you're alone. You can make changes or corrections without having to discuss them with anybody or argue about them. I never should have listened to you! Ah, uh, we're gonna shoot off set. We'll have to move the camera over. You'll see, he's a liar! He won't even pay you! As much as you can, direct your show before the shooting begins. One there, please. And one there. Don't be rigid. Be ready to change when a better camera angle or blocking becomes evident in the course of shooting. That's what life's all about. But at least have something in your head and on paper to change from. The way this is gonna work, gentlemen, Carl, we're gonna find you coming down your ladder. You've hung the picture. In fact, for action, it would probably be good to see There's nothing that keeps a show happier than a director who at least appears to know what he wants without having to stop and think things out on the set while everyone else waits for him and gets paid for the waiting. If you're looking at him. If you look to him, to see, they give your line, are they all right? They look all right to me. Back to you, they're all right. The director is the one person on the set who is responsible for keeping the film as a whole in his mind at all times. It's your responsibility to make sure that the particular scene you're shooting will fit into its place in the finished film. And so you have to have all the answers for everybody. Where am I, where am I coming from? You're coming from your close-up turn, remember? Uh, yes, you can if you try. You tell yes, the you actors can. where they are. You look over at him and you see that he's got his painting up there. And what they're doing and why. Maybe a, a little more voice in the singing. All right. I'm just thinking of getting it through this uh, barrage of noise. You remind them how noisy the room is supposed to be. They're all alike, making you waste your time. I got other things to do, you know. He asked me to come up here. What I'm saying is that you uh, have possibly had occasions... You explain how they should react to a small vase, which apparently weighs 300 pounds. I think it's way more than they should. And uh, in other words, you're not surprised that the vase is heavy. Your only concern is that it is heavy. What about this one? Where's it go? Put it there, please. What goes through your head is that stupid idiot is standing there like yeah. a statue facing the wall. You tell them what they're thinking. I'll try the personal approach, and yeah. off you go. Right. And yeah. Okay, then I can. Once you right. decide yeah. to right. do it, you come right up. What about you? In business for yourself? Got a job? There's a nice thing that happens with those stools. See one of them in front of her. You explain how to hold a pair of stools. Be held up high enough so we catch some of the red on the other side here. Here's the first stuff. Hey, Bustard, don't you believe him? Then we have another. The closer the relationship between the director and his cameraman, the better. Ideally, you should both be seeing with the same eyes. Explain in detail what you want to see on the screen and make sure that he understands you. Like that around. Just be a pan, I yes, the top has to come. Uh, I think it can. It can be a pan, but it's got to be partly a dolly because you need this cutting angle so to, come in to have them appear. Okay. And then you got to pull back to show them side. Then you can pan. Right. Okay. 
be tighter? Well, is it possible to... I could have used more movement in the thing at the end while she's still talking. Well, we can keep going. Is it possible that she could end up uh, more across him to her? Sure. Uh, let's make a new forward mark. Be sure you're getting what you want. You're still going this direction, that's it. Don't take chances and be disappointed when you see it on the screen. Right to there. Now, I think we'll have to boom up a little bit to do this, so... Well, maybe not. Maybe her having that kind of a look is okay. No, that's fine. Yeah. Now, is this far enough around now? Yeah. yeah. And that'll give you a little extra time to keep moving. Come down. It doesn't look menacing. It should be probably down shooting up at him. Does that help? That helps. Actually, it's not a bad frame as he was that white uh, of the window in there. Yeah, now it is. Well, the other position was terrible. Be ready to listen to your cameraman's suggestions and accept them if they're useful. What? You start on your closer shot and go back to the wide one, it might work. No, not gonna work I think I'm going to break it in a couple places oh. instead. But don't depend on the cameraman to set your shots or block your action. Well, this is going to have to be broken up a little bit. It's all right. Are they all right? Beat for me to get the camera over. Then look to him. Okay, let's take that one. Action. A movie is a story told in pictures, and it's the director's job to compose those pictures so that they tell the story in the best possible way. Now, you still got to be close to the picture. They look all right to me. They're all right. Mark it. Two, take one. Action! During a take, the director's place is as close to the camera lens as possible. See what the camera sees. Watch out! You don't have anything to sleep on tonight, do you? You are the only live audience your actors will have. I'm going to help you. Make sure that you're an observant and perceptive audience. Pick up your hat. In a sense, you're the representative for all the audiences that will ever see the film. If something doesn't play right for you, it won't play right for them. Cut. Don't, uh... So make corrections. Not quite so quick coming out, Paul. You're at home now. You're at home now. Okay. It's a sense, not so much of pushing her. I'll get out. Just that uh, you don't know she's there. You're at home now. Yeah. Take off your hat! That's right. Don't take it off if you don't want to. You're at home now. That's print. Thank you. <laughs> Be prepared to wait and schedule time for it. Just because you're ready doesn't mean everybody else is. Give the electrician time to adjust his lights. I'll back it up a little bit. Let the dolly grip set his marks. Okay, Mike, thank you. Let the camera assistant measure focus. Make up, please. Sponge. But make certain that everybody is getting ready at the same time. Don't let the makeup man wait until after the lights are set to touch up makeup. Make certain that the boom man is rehearsing his moves at the same time the camera crew is rehearsing theirs. It's no good for you to strangers. I don't know him. And don't waste the time yourself. Either across the opening to your partner or to him. The, the clap, you turn away for the clap. Yeah. You not only turn away, but you're going to back out of the way. Okay, now pull it out. Half the stop. I can live with it to save us a half hour. Let's do it. Let's do it. There you are. Cut out your window just like you wanted. This is real easy, too. Look out on the alley, of course. Okay, but that's a cut. Um. Don't kid yourself that a take is good when you know it isn't. A small bit of action that isn't just right is easy to pass over in the rush of shooting. There will always be people on the set to assure you that you won't even notice it on the screen. But you will notice it, and it'll look worse each time you do. So fix it while you have the chance. 
crossover tune can be faster still. No. It's a uh, sense when he knocks on the wall. Oh. Yeah, this man's knocking on the walls. If he does yeah. it too much, they're likely to fall down. Yeah. You're not going to let him do that. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Don't you worry. Them walls are sturdy. This place wasn't built yesterday. They don't make them like this anymore. Action. I ain't going to open the window. Me, I'm an honest woman. Uh, uh, excuse me, that, that should be, I ain't gonna open your window. You know, it's his, he's paid for it. Yeah. Quiet, please, and roll, son. Please. Mark, wait a minute, take four. Okay, is he? Yes. Action. I ain't gonna open your window. Me, I'm an honest woman. Nobody ever said I wasn't. That's Prettier that way. Prettier. Quicker in that line, Pearl. Prettier, more discreet. Prettier, more discreet. Be sure that you have enough coverage. Prettier. A scene may play well in one long take. That way you don't see anything at all. That's for sure. But you may discover in editing that you want to speed it up or slow it down. For that you'll need cutaways. Shots that you can cut to to slow or increase the tempo of the scene. Everybody will be happier. Everybody happy. Ian Esco says to play the whole thing with the uh, characters back to the camera. And I may do it. I don't know. But I want to have this other coverage. That's better. It's prettier. It's prettier. More discreet. Don't overcover a scene. That's have right. confidence in the shots you've chosen. More discreet. But give yourself a little leeway in editing if you can. That way you can't see anything at all. Okay, that's a print. Camera out in front. Jerry dressed the set as far as we've had it before. Well, do you want to do one more now, is he? Or is it... What's easier for you, Eve? Is it easy? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter let's let's go again. One more. Uh, one more, please. Yes. You can have the camera in position one. Please don't. Fine. That, uh, that works. Don't get hung up on a scene trying to get something that won't come or that simply isn't there. But don't say print and move on to the next scene until you're sure you've got the best on film that you can get, given the time and money available, the skill of your cast and crew, and your own skill as a director. Knock, knock. It's the furniture. I'll get it. It's my place to wait on you. I'm your maid. Please don't. Oh. Right. Well, Save that don't until you're all the way around and we can see it. Okay. It's the furniture. Don't bother. I'll open it for you. It's my place. I'm your maid. Please don't. What? Is it? Good take. Yeah, that's a print. Then when you're sure it's the best you can get, no call print and waste no time that's getting on okay. to the next scene. Okay, that was very nice. Same <laughs> spot as the scene 2-8. Two 2-8. Eight. Two eight. Um, we'll jump in the scene. Shut up! You will have been coming. You're down I'm with kidding. him here. I'm I don't saying. like that. I don't like I don't like it. The uh, they're they're all, all alike. Making you're making you waste your time. I got other things to do, you know. He asked me to come up here and... Right. Actually, all we need is... Uh, are these lines? Yeah, I know. So, uh, just shut up and then back to him. I'm not going to open your window yeah. business. And then... Shut up! 